Thanks for visiting Phil B for Gold. I hope you enjoyed your lesson and what I want to do now is give you a short video recap of what you learned today. Thanks again and best of luck. Hi Adam, great to see you tonight. Just a recap on what we worked on. Uh, I've drew these two red lines, if you see they're down the uh, line of the shaft for you and I'm comparing you today to Jordan Spieth. So first thing we looked at with yourself is as you took the club away, we could see the club is definitely going inside of that red line. So this side of the red line, I've just drawn them two lines. Uh, so when we get halfway back, you haven't really got any wrist cocks, so you haven't got a lot of power. The left arm, I like the left arm, but really I want to get that hinge, that had that club to hinge a little bit more through your right shoulder or your right forearm. So if we look at Jordan Spieth now as he takes the club away, you'll see that his club shaft is staying above that red line. So when he comes to sort of waist height, we can see the shaft is already starting to hinge through his right forearm, just almost where I've got that green line for you. So I really wanted to work on just trying to get that club hinging up a little bit early. And the easy feeling is to put your bum against your car, your fence, uh, something like that. So obviously if you had that, you'd hit the fence where that club head is now, um, opposed to where we can see with Jordan's. That just get you in a slightly tidier position at the top. Um, it's too much. It's not going to help your pitching either, Adam, uh, from there. Get to the top of the swing. Quite good. Quite like that. Club's a little bit across the line, but it's all quite tidy for you there. As you start coming down, you try and come a tiny bit over the top, but you recover well. We've worked hard on getting that club in the right position here. And the shaft is very good there. If we compare that to Jordan now as he comes to the top of his swing as he starts down. We can see that halfway down, you and him are pretty much in the same sort of spot with the club head and the left arm. You can see his left arm's parallel with his feet and the shaft's cutting through his right forearm. But what you can see with Jordan already that is that you can start to see a little bit of his left leg. If we just accelerate him through a little bit more, you can start to see how much clearance halfway down he's got. If we come to you halfway down, we can't see any of your left leg. So and that's one of the reasons why you tend to sort of leave the club head open because if you're not going to rotate your legs, unfortunately you're going to move into the shot slightly this way, which will leave the club head open. So coming into impact, we can see that now the face is definitely pointing slightly to the right. And we can see there you've got no, no rotation in the hips. If we look at Jordan again, we can see him coming into impact. We can see all of his left leg. So he's got a full clearance. And then from there, the club's just going to wrap over and he's going to hit a nice little soft draw or fade depending on which one he wants to hit and for you definitely a nice little soft draw but we can see there you're very stuck uh, club head here is quite open uh, and that was really it Adam and when we got the legs working so to fix them legs all we worked on was a half a swing and then as you swung it halfway back I wanted you to just rotate your legs as hard as you could Ro uh, to the left for me and you really started to get some shots and you saw that swinging it halfway you could hit it almost if not further uh, with that, so I want you to feel like you're hitting the ball with your legs now, not your arms, um, and that'll make a big difference to your swing. You saw that. Also, when we did some chipping and pitching, you saw it is exactly the same. We want to control the motion really with our our like uh, chest and um, hips when we're controlling pitching and chipping. And you was doing most of it with your arms, which is why you was hitting like a 52 degree. It was going straight up opposed to that nice little low spin shot that we managed to get at the end. So just work on that for us, Adam, and I'll uh, see you soon. Well, I hope that helps. And if you have any questions or you're finding a move particularly difficult, please contact me on the numbers on this page or via my email address, philbeaver at hotmail.co.uk. Many thanks.